just because you're stuck doesn't mean what you're doing isn't right for you. In my journey of learning to code, there were definitely times when I was really stuck. I didn't know what I was doing. I felt like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? Like, how am I going to figure this out? In this video, I'll be breaking down four major types of tech careers, the rules within each one, and some tips on how to break into those particular rules. So this video is not just for people who know how to code, but even if you don't know how to code and you want to get a tech job, you know, and the tech money, <laughs> this video will have different tips and tricks for you to learn the kind of rule that you want. So the major career archetypes in tech I'm going to be talking about are the builders, thinkers, the planners, and the supporters. These are different archetypes of tech roles that we have. Now I'm going to be going through each of them one after the other. So the builders focus on building things. These are your front-end engineers, back-end, full-stack, mobile developers. Builders love to build things. They want fast feedback. They want to make progress by actually doing the thing. And they want kind of a practical, hands-on experience. If this fits into who you are and what you like to do maybe you can explore the roles in the builders category these guys also love problem solving and have some creativity and they want to express it by actually doing something with their hands like they want to do something they want to be part of the problem solving process so this is what the builders are like i said mobile developers websites developers front-end devs back-end devs all of these guys are builders the next archetype we'll look at are the thinkers these guys analyze data look at patterns and build predictive models. These are your data scientists, your data analysts, machine learning engineers, AI researchers. They tend to love doing more logic, measurable having measurable results working with data and all of that so this kind of role sometimes you are doing research you are trying to figure out how to solve a problem it can take a very long time to actually have what you want so it's kind of like a, an open-ended path and sometimes the result is not as concrete as say a builder would be because a builder you, you know you have a specific website a specific mobile app you're building there's a clear end goal in mind and you want quick feedback you want to know how it's going and then like actually get to the finish line for the researcher, for the ML engineer and those kinds of roles, you have an outcome that you want, but it could take you many, many different steps to actually get to that outcome. So you'd have to be somebody who is, you know, just think of it more like a researcher. If you, if you love doing research, not really knowing where to end you, but then you want to kind of do research, see what comes up and stuff like that. These kinds of roles would work best for you. Now, one thing I would say is that a lot of these roles overlap in these different archetypes so it's not like a data scientist for example doesn't write code or doesn't have the builder archetype as well they do but then they more broadly or more specifically fall into this archetype the next archetype that we'll talk about are the planners so these are the ones that work with different teams bring different teams together work with the users figure out what the user wants versus what the tech team is building this area usually has less coding involved for these kinds of people but they are still involved in the tech process so these are product managers ux researchers and different roles like that and it's usually great for people with leadership communication and design skills so if you know that you're somebody you know you want to work in the tech field but you are more of the communicator you want to do the planning bring people together you know have different kinds of meetings and stuff like that this role fits well for you if you are somebody who doesn't love talking to people like that you just want to focus go sit in your corner do your work and everything you would fall more under the building other side right but then if you enjoy more of the communication and things like that you fall more under this role because it will a lot of the time involve doing interviews with users planning and all stuff related to that the next one is the supporters these are your uh, sometimes cyber security engineers sometimes uh, your like it guys like support guys testing groups and all of that fall under this category their job is to help keep the thing stable the system stable they do more infrastructure related work and if something breaks if the systems are down these are probably the first people who flag it they are supposed to be the first people who flag it and stuff like that so that's their entire job now let's talk about how to choose the right path for you so in choosing the right tech path it's important to use your preferences to guide you in making the right choice for example if you're somebody who enjoys visual stuff you want to design a ui a user interface you want to design the thing you don't necessarily want to go ahead and be building it and all of that you want to just design play around with 
with colors and those things you'd probably fit into the either ux researcher fit into a ui ux designer those kinds of design roles those will be better suited for you if you like i said want to go sit somewhere build your thing not have lots of communication and interruptions you see if you see communication and all of that as draining and stuff like that you probably want to lean towards being more of a builder and a builder would be coding most of the time but that's not the only job right but if you are a builder you need to learn something like html css javascript uh, python some back end and all of that there are different career paths in the builder the builder side so like i said front end back end you can be a full stack which is a combination of both front end and back end another thing that the builders um really like generally is logic and structure a key part of building anything is having lots of structure involved they are these guys sometimes can be somewhat rigid in their structure they like routines they like things being done a certain way every time as opposed to someone who is more on the design side likes change likes moving around all of those things the builder usually loves more of structure and everything involved in their work so there are very key personality traits that differentiate people in the different sides of tech so if you're somebody who is analytical or research oriented you want to be involved in research you know doing lots of analysis not having a clear end goal all of those things sound interesting to you then data science data analysis machine learning all of those parts would be great for you as well and this would involve relearning python machine learning systems for data analysis for example it would involve learning some math statistics probability all of those things will be your cup of tea on a daily basis so if all of that sounds very interesting to you then please go that path one thing that you should definitely note is that you don't necessarily have to pick one career path that you are going to be on forever your career would most likely evolve so you can start out from the UI UX side by, you know, learning how to design user interfaces and all of that. And then with time, switch more into the coding side in building front end projects and then later go into more of the data science aspects and everything. There's no direct path, but it will be important to pick one path at the start. However, with time, you can divert into whatever field that you want. For me, what I started with was definitely the building side i generally just love to build even if i'm building a front-end project like i'm building a website i don't want to be thinking about the design i want the designer to figure all of that stuff out give me what i'm supposed to build i have the design and i implement the design i don't want to be thinking too much about setting details i want to focus on building it and bringing it to life so i know that that side of things excites me however with time i'm now becoming more excited about doing more research like ai research and those kinds of things so i might lean more toward that direction now and another thing to note is that choosing a path you must be strategic some parts are more beginner friendly than others are for example data science i think would require more of an expert knowledge in programming and some more experience in the tech field as opposed to being a complete beginner. You can't be a complete beginner and learn all of those things, but I think that if you are probably maybe done more backend work, done more coding work and everything, you can have an easier path to moving in that direction. So there's no one size fits all and whichever path that you choose obviously depends on you and you can definitely switch later. You are not married to any path, you know, so you can definitely switch later and just do what you end up enjoying because well not just what you end up enjoying but what actually gets you paid if that's a priority because if you're going to be spending lots of hours doing this you must you might as well have some kind of enjoyment out of it so here are some tips for you pick a path pick one path right now and do more reading about it go online read different articles about it look at what people in the field are doing if you know people that are doing the kind of job that you want to do ask them what the day-to-day -day is like and everything see if it's something that suits you then go online take some courses go on udemy.com find courses around the thing that you want i made a video about how to study online so you can watch that for more helpful tips if you're going to be doing this online and just get started it's extremely important that you know you take the step to start you can start a ui ux course explore it see how it feels and everything you can maybe start it on youtube or something just try it out see how it feels you can try some python do whatever you, you need to do but just get started don't wait don't sit down don't just be there and be in some kind of decision paralysis just get started and 
I can assure you that you can figure it out as you go. It's also very important that you build projects along the line and have a portfolio of projects. Building projects is a great way to learn stuff, you know, because you would get stuck somewhere. If you're not getting stuck, then you're not challenging yourself enough. You would get stuck somewhere and you need to figure things out. And that's when you learn so much about everything and you learn from that experience. And you truly know if that's a, that's really something you want to be doing for a considerable amount of time. One thing though is just because you're stuck doesn't mean what you're doing isn't right for you. I enjoy coding, but in my journey of learning to code, there were definitely times when I was really stuck. I didn't know what I was doing. I felt like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? Like, how am I going to figure this out? It felt like maybe, eh, it's coding really for me and all of that. No, it's for me. But what I was doing was just quite challenging i just needed to learn more so just because you find it challenging doesn't mean it's not for you that's just how it is so take that and learn more make progress and just keep going if you take anything from this video it's figure out vaguely which path is yours what you're interested in at one point i thought maybe i wanted to do more design at another point i thought mm, i would like more coding at another point i felt like maybe i should do data science i tried different things and then ended up just sticking with what i'm doing now because of several factors so you don't need to have everything figured out in the beginning you will do that with time you will evolve your interests will change there's nothing wrong with that if your interests change you can change with them or you can put the new interest that has come on the side while you try to get the best path to land a job as well just because you have an interest in something doesn't mean you need to get a career out of it some things are just interests and hobbies it doesn't mean somebody is going to pay you for it maybe you might not enjoy doing doing it as a job you probably just enjoy doing it as a hobby so keep that in mind thank you and like share subscribe i need this video to do well so share it with people that you know that want to break into tech share it with anybody at all and i'll see you in the next video bye